Our nation is too full of those that are crying down. Down with the police, down with the churches, down with teachers, down with government. Can you build anything down? You cannot. Certainly time in our nation to change our words. And let's begin now to use the word up. Up from all of this filth, up from this violence, up from this indifference of courts. Up, up to the hit battlements of eternity. Up, up to God. The new type of violence that's sweeping our country, our schools, our streets, which involves destruction of everything that is in the past. The first characteristic of the new violence of our day is what we will call elitism. Namely, there is a dominant minority that makes a lot of noise and that uses violence to force its will upon others. They're revolutionists without approval. They only know what they're against. They do not know what they're for. The kind that are rifle desks, destroy property, burn homes, do anything to enforce their will. Satanism is behind it too. This is the third characteristic of it. The world is built on order. There's a plan, so scientists are able to discover the laws of the universe. And in discovering the laws of the universe, men find harmony. This harmony and order had to come from somewhere. It came from God. What is the essence of Satanism? The essence of Satanism is the destruction of that order. The order of law, the order of morality, order of religion, the order of ethics, anything that you please. Believe me, fellow Americans, I tell you that before the flood, in the book of Genesis we read, and in the days of Noah, there was violence on the earth. All of the violence that happens in our country is a fever graph. Read it. it. points to a decay in our civilization. How are we going to get out of it? I tell you one thing that we, we have to do. We have to realize maybe why the eagle is our national symbol. The eagle always builds its nest high in the mountain crevices. When the young are hatched, the eagle pushes its young over the nest. And they fly down to what to eaglet eyes must seem like sudden death. And just before the young eagle crashes, the mother eagle swoops down from its nest, down to the abyss and catches the young, and then flies up into the sky, swoops from out it again, and repeats the process until the bird has learned to fly. Moses saw that and he wrote, as the eagle stirs among the young, so does God stir among the nations. Maybe God is stirring us, bringing us to the brink of danger, in order that we might begin to examine ourselves and restore the dignity of man and the belief in God.